Hello, it's David Vintage Toy Rush. I'm at the restoration station because I want to restore this Micronaut Star Defender box. And this is a Star Defender, a wonderful Micronauts vehicle, lots of play features, detachable spaceships, and of course, missiles. Pretty hefty missiles. They can do some real damage. So the box is, well, first of all, really dirty, so I'll give it a good clean. But also it has some rips here along the top and also on the side that I don't want to resolve. And also just generally the whole thing is very uneven. I think it's just been where it's stored probably in somebody's loft for a very, very long time. So I want to get that all flattened out and tidied up. And the same with the base here, just tidy it up and the inlay flattened out as well. Now, I seriously didn't think I was going to be ironing on YouTube. I guess uh, this is one form of extreme ironing, but what I am going to do is just try and soften up the cardboard on this lid so I can then flatten it out and get it nice and straight. So let's give it a go. And you really want to make sure that the iron is not too hot. And also never iron on the printed side. You'll just ruin it immediately. So I always iron on the card side and just take it easy and then see how it goes and see how it feels. base of the box as well and also the inlay so I've done that nice and flat and then I will fold the pieces back so they'll be nice and crisp. The next thing I'm going to tackle are the rips. So there's one at the top here and there's also one on the side here. Now I think what I'm going to be able to do is glue these because the way these are ripped there is a little bit of overlap still so I'm going to put my uh, magnifying glasses on so I can take a close look and then I'll be able to glue them together. That seems to have done the trick. My technique is to put as little glue on as possible. Uh, I'm using a, a, a pin basically to, put, to apply the glue. I put tiny amounts on and I'll let that dry. But by doing that, it should keep the box from tearing any further in the future, which would be great. Next step is I'm just gonna give it a quick clean. Very light, damp cloth and then dry it off and we'll see how it looks. Well, that was pretty bad. You can see the dirt that's come off of that. And the box is now looking much, much brighter. And there are quite a lot of marks on there which have come off very nicely, so I'm very pleased with that. Now I'm just going to look at the inlay. I ironed this earlier, flattened it out. Now I'm just going to rebend all the uh, folds here, so hopefully it'll be nice and stiff, ready for putting all the bits back into place. Ready now to put everything back. After a fair amount of faffing and some research on the internet, I think I finally worked out how everything goes back in the box. Looking much cleaner, the rips are now all sealed with a tiny amount of glue. So let's take the lid off. And this is what it would have looked like brand new. We've got a couple of Micronauts leaflets. We have the instructions for the Star Defender. We have the sticker sheet, which is still unused. And then we have bits in a few of the plastic bags. And then finally, we can see the main pieces of the ship back in the box, in the inlay. And if you look closely, we also have a 
Time Traveller, still sealed in its bag. Never been out of there by the looks of it. You can even see the peg on the back there. And then we have the missiles. So there we are. That's the Star Defender back in its box. Check out my live stream, which I did a few weeks back, where I basically took it all, took it all out of the box and put it together. There we have it. One Star Defender all back into lovely shape. So, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little restoration. If you have, then please subscribe and like and hit the notification bell. And until next time, stay safe and cheers.